stocks will buy. Got it. Ah, it's moving in the opposite direction of Wing, which raised guidance again. Uh, 161 to 163 pi or 155. Comps well, three times the well, their, estimates. Their commodity Com costs are going chicken down. Costs, right? yeah. Chicken costs are down. I don't get why. You know, it doesn't. Wingstop is not known for its ribs. <laughs> yes. Got it. It's not known for its so up. Chicken it's, costs it's come down and the stock well, goes up. Well, that, that's what they sell. Yeah. And they don't lower the prices. They don't say, you know what? Our wing costs are down, so we're going to do two for one. I mean, we, someone has to give us a break here. Well, let's maybe we'll get a break from Bristol Myers. Yeah. And sure enough, we've got Bristol Myers re reported another good quarter. We, we know that Bristol Myers is somewhat incapable of reporting a, a, a not great quarter, and that's because of the invention and reinvention and reinvention, which is why I'm thrilled to have Dr. Cafario, who is Bristol Myers' uh, CEO, on. Dr. Cafario, once again, incredibly strong quarter. Uh, a mixed uh, quarter being done by new drugs and old. And I want to focus on some of the new ones because I think that they're immediately profitable. If you don't mind going through uh, your portfolio of drugs that didn't exist three years ago. Uh, Jim, thank you very much. And thanks for having me today. In fact, I am very pleased with the quarter and the year. And that is because of new drugs and the fact that we are successfully renewing our portfolio. You look at our business today, much more diversified. Uh, one of the youngest portfolios in the industry. So this year, we have launched three new medicines. These are three first-in-class medicines for very important diseases, like Obdualag for melanoma, Camzaios for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and our new TIC2 inhibitor, so TIC2, for psoriasis. You look at BMS in the last three years, we've launched nine new medicines, and that portfolio is annualizing already at over $2 billion in revenue and continuing to grow. So, you know, when, when I look at uh, our industry and our company, it's really important to continue to innovate. And beyond the new launches I just described, we already have a next wave of new medicines coming from early development to late stage development, which gives me great confidence in the future. So from my perspective, we reiterated guidance today for the year, even more importantly, we are on track to continue to deliver growth for the rest of the decade. Now, uh, because of a tragedy involving my wife, uh, I'm well aware of uh, hy hypertrophic uh, cardiomyopathy and how hard that is to, uh, to deal with. Uh, you seem to have something that uh, may be the first in class medicine to treat what is actually a very large disease. And if you don't mind talking about it, because it, this is actually one of the more hopeful stories I've seen in pharma in many years. Well, thank you, Jim. So this is uh, uh, Camzaios. It's a medicine that comes to us from the acquisition of myocardia two years ago. And as you know, we have a long, uh, uh, an important leadership in cardiovascular medicine. Uh, we launched uh, this new medicine earlier this year. It's a completely new class. It's the first time that we are able to offer patients a medicine that actually causes uh, treats the underlying cause of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a disease for which there has been nothing available so far. And the launch is going extremely well. There is tremendous enthusiasm for patients because of the impact it has on their daily life. And physicians are obviously very, very interested in uh, being able to offer a new treatment option to patients that didn't have uh, anything available so far. I think it's a really good example of the type of innovation we develop at Bristol Myers Quib. And it's also, uh, again, important because of our long-term commitment to cardiovascular medicine and the leadership position we have in this field.